Okay, hello. Um, we're going to be removing the dura matter from a sheep brain. Uh, the tools that I'm going to be using are surgical scissors, some forceps, uh, probes, and these are shears that I got from a uh, sewing kit. They're just going to be easier to get through some of the dura. All right, so here we have a sheep brain. Um, there was some adipose tissue on here, uh, but I've removed that. Um, we can see right here is our optic chiasm. We would have our optic nerves coming out there. Yours may have the optic nerves. If we have that, we do want to try to pr uh, preserve those. Here we have our olfactory bulbs. Uh, here we can see our temporal lobes. Uh, again, this is the dorsal view. Right here is the pituitary gland. That's going to get ripped off when we remove the dura. Here we can see some more cranial nerves here. We're going to try to preserve them. Here we have from the dorsal view. We can see uh, the cortex underneath, but this is all the dura that we're going to be removing. And one thing that's going to be very hard is the dura right here between our uh, cerebellum and our cerebrum. It's, a bit, it's deep in there. It's going to be difficult for us to remove it. Back here we have our spinal cord, and there's our cerebellum. So we're going to start by removing the dura off the top here. We're going to go where the olfactory bulbs are and just go on alongside those olfactory bulbs. All right, we don't want to go too deep into the brain because we don't want to cause brain damage, the damage to the brain. But you can see that I just made a cut there and it's already coming right off there. So we want to go ahead and remove the, from the top. All right, guys, and I'm just gonna cut it into pieces uh, just so it's easier for me to manipulate the dura. So I'm just gonna cut alongside there, removing that top. And now right here, guys, you can see where it's a little bit different color. That's gonna be very hard, so I'm gonna cut through here and get this off and cut there, and then specifically go in there and work with that. I don't want to just stick my scissors in there because I do not want to damage my cortex. All right, I don't want to rip off around uh, the uh, ventral side of the brain either because I want to try to uh, preserve as much of those cranial nerves as possible, those 12 cranial nerves. But if yours gets ripped off, that, that's okay. You'll use other people's brains to uh, work with those, okay? This red stuff that you're seeing here, guys, that's, that's blood. Uh, that's dried blood. Don't worry about it. All right, here I'm going to cut alongside my frontal lobe here over to my temporal lobe right here I'm gonna be gentle not to damage the cortex a little brain damage there where the or got pushed into the cortex. That happens with when they remove the brains from the sheep. Or sheep, rather. Okay. All right, so I've got most of that top removed now. Now I'm gonna come from the back and try to get me a little bit more working space from back here. So again, we're gonna slide that scissors gently in there. Let me see, most of this has actually been torn off already. He's been squished there in shipping. Okay, so now here we're gonna get a little bit trickier. So what I'm gonna have to do is because this door is actually gonna go between the different hemispheres here. So I just wanna get in there so I can see what I'm working with. So I can cut. Use my forceps here. Notice I'm working on the side here. I'm not working right down the midline because again, it's thicker there.
I'm not blocking the shot, am I? So they're a little bit deeper. You know, we start seeing in between those. See, it goes very deep in there, so now I'm gonna actually pull them apart a little bit, not too much, because I don't wanna actually break the brain, but I need to be able to get in there. We're getting deeper. So you can see how deep that, that Dora goes in there. You see that? You get that, that angle in there? So you can see how deep the dirt is going in between those hemispheres. Okay. And we're almost there. This is actually where I'll often use my uh, sewing scissors. But okay, so there we go. I can actually see here where we have that cranial nerve that's going into the... Oh, can you see that? You can see that cranial nerve right there going into that dura. I'm gonna try not to break that off there. Uh, we have a little bit of dura still attached in here. I'll come back to that. So I got that one side, now I'm gonna to go to the other side and do the same thing over here. And then we should be able to lift the top of this door right off. Deal with it. This is where your partner is really going to help you out by holding that brain apart so you can get down in there. Oops. Go ahead and see if we can do it with this, guys. These guys allow me to see a little bit better in there. That's why I like using them for this part. See down in there a little bit better. Right, now we can see in there better. All right, and that did it right there. All right now that I have them cut on both sides, I can just pull that right out. And you can see how thick that is right there. So now I've removed, um, we still have some uh, connective tissue there. So I'm gonna leave that there. Uh, and start seeing in there, right in there is gonna be our superior colliculus and our inferior colliculus. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on the bottom side. So right here we're gonna gently pull off. Okay, and we'll work from the back up. Right now, we don't want to rip these nerves off, so we're going to try to cut up alongside them. I'll use these so it's I'm going to move 
this big chunk here. So it's out of my way. Okay. gonna cut right down here right here you can see this there right here all right I'm gonna try to cut right up alongside that separate the dirt off I'm do the same thing over to this side If you cut into those nerves, don't don't worry about it. It's hard to separate them from the dura sometimes. And again, if you lose some cranial nerves, it happens to the best of us. So we're still very much attached here. We can see other nerves that are uh, connected right there. So I'm just going to cut it as far up as I can so we can preserve those. All right. Should have one other one right underneath here. Looks like it's already been torn off. Alright, and then we got a little Alright, so these are good for this, so I'm gonna use these scissors. Just to give me a little bit more better view. Okay, so let's stop the video for this one.